All right, so Meek Mill finds himself in hot water yet again. After dipping his toe in water, he had no business. Now, this is just a classic case of yet again, Meek Mill failing to read the room and not realizing that this situation is much bigger than Sukiyana. This is a situation that affects many women in the industry, a lot of women outside of the industry. Um, and that this is just one of those things where even if you have a great valid point, you just need to shut the hell up and sit down somewhere. Because at the end of the day, there's no saving this. You know, I just, it doesn't matter how much you like YK Osiris. It doesn't matter how much you think he is a great guy, whatever the case may be. Sexual assault is sexual assault. At the end of the day, as soon as Suki turned her face away and you could proceed to try to kiss her, over and over again it doesn't matter what she said before then it doesn't matter what she said during it doesn't matter what she was wearing or not wearing you committed sexual assault now the situation is uh pretty tragic because obviously a lot of people are debating or victim blaming rather if this was deserved by Sukiyana because we all know that Sukiyana's uh image persona whatever you want to call it is hypersexual all right there's plenty of interviews out there where she's saying a whole lot of provocative things and there's interviews where things are being said to her and so there's a very tough road that she has to navigate as a not only as a woman but a person that uses that persona of having your boundaries respected but also maintaining an image and i think that was the very hard line that suki um has been dealing with in private and definitely has been dealing with in public as i said in multiple video or I said in my last couple videos i think this is just a small sample size of the things that not only that she goes through um on camera but also off camera and also what a lot of other women deal with especially when they have those types of personas or even if they don't have those personas i can very much imagine that while sukiana is on the show or in the studio or whatever there are random men that say all kinds of things to her because of her persona slap her on the ass whatever the case may be and think that she's just automatically supposed to like it because she's supposed to be this freak and i think that it is tough um for her to be able to defend her honor and defend uh herself being a woman and being uncomfortable without having people saying oh nah she ain't a freak for, for real because she don't even like when i did that da, 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 da. and it's like there's a difference <laughs> there is a difference when you like something from somebody that you are consenting with and difference and when you're dealing with something from a person that you're not consenting with and i think that is the overall message that people just don't seem to get it does not matter what her persona is it's not coming from the person she wants it to come from and again i think meat mill you have just missed your mark yet again to the point where you're now probably going to get not necessarily canceled but a lot of people just gonna look at you yet again is just like talented guy but just doesn't know when to shut the fuck up